I spent a lot of time in the real world, working regular jobs and uh, in a power suit. And so for me, having the opportunity to give back really fueled me um, to do what I love without soccer, which is take care of the environment and use my brain um, and people skills to just get people fired up about the environment. One of my attributes that most of my friends and family would say about me is that I'm extremely dependable. So if someone needs anything at the last minute, I'm the most likely to go to the airport at 12.45 a.m. to come and pick them up. No one else is going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Well, there's a side of me that's very nu into nutrition. I am pescatarian, and I'm very into healthy living, um, and I cook foods that are very healthy. And then there's this other side of me that can tear through a pint of Ben & Jerry's. I'm very serious when it comes to what I do for a living, and having gotten this far in my career, I had to be very disciplined, and so um, you know, a lot of my daily life consists of staying home and taking care of myself and being very um, diligent and studying and doing a lot of research and, uh, about uh, what I do for a living. I was born and raised in Chicago, but my parents are of Austrian descent, so there was always the Austrian-European influence. So I think it's fun to have that dual culture and to have a little bit of a perspective on the American culture as well. A-side is Jill Scott's golden because she says living your life like it's golden. Oh, I remember when I was writing my first book, it was a good song to have as I was trying to really trudge through it and it was a, a nice shot of inspiration every morning. The B-side is Stevie Wonder's That Girl because I like to pretend that I'm that girl who thinks that she is so fly. When I'm getting ready to go out, I listen to a lot of upbeat, um, kind of techno-y type of music um, and then you know, I have chill, kind of singer-songwriter, guitar, Josh Rouse, that kind of music too. And the soundtrack to my serious side would definitely be Bob Dylan's Blood on the Tracks. Like, track for track, it's perfect. It starts out, you know, really aggressive, um, tangled up in blue, and then it ends up on buckets of rain when it's really, you know, calming down. And it, that would definitely be, definitely be my serious soundtrack. And my more, you know, excitable social soundtrack would be Madonna's Immaculate Collection song for song. I like to know that somebody's kind of fully alive in their body and also in their mind, that everything is working all at once. To be involved in, somebody, in one's work, but really passionate about it but not overcome, you know, there's a great, there's a spectrum of balance, I think. Somebody who's really well-rounded, someone who's comfortable in any sort of situation, good work ethic, home training, polite, manners, pretty basic things. Someone who's really into intellectual pursuits, reads a lot, is really well informed, but is also really into sports, particularly Chicago sports or Big Ten sports. I really have dated a lot of well-intentioned, workaholic, triathlon, competing, Ironman running, five language speaking, road scholar type guys. Now I've come to a point in my life where I realize that I'd much rather be with a guy who maybe on paper, I don't care, but in real life, we could just get along and laugh and be spontaneous and have fun together. I'm proud of the fact that I'm getting older and every day gets more exciting. My life is getting better and better every day. Um, I, my childhood was happy enough, but the older I get, I feel like it, you know, turning 30 was exciting, then you get it over with. Start to really own everything. I'm most proud of moving to Chicago and, and taking the risk to be a professional dancer without really knowing whether it was gonna pay off or how successful I was going to be. And it, I really think it, it helped sort of make me the person that I am. I'm most proud of my business, Body Chemistry, where I create fragrances. It's really, started out as this little girl and it was cute and now I feel like it's more sophisticated and it's a grown woman. It's probably just maintaining a sense of happiness and perspective. I, I was raised with an amazing family. My mom is incredible and my dad is and I have these two awesome brothers and just keeping that perspective as the seasons of my life have changed a little bit and always being able to look back and smile at my successes and failures. When I lived in New York, it was every weekend we were going out to the Hamptons or every weekend we were making some kind of side trip. Whereas, because New York in, in the summer, it clears out on the weekends. 
but Chicago, it's the best on the weekend. So I, no, I'm going nowhere. I'm staying right here. You know where to find me. I think Millennium Park is one of the greatest um, pieces of both entertainment and arch architecture that they've um, created. And also because I'm a musician, this sort of wealth of free concerts. And I think that's amazing. I'm in the process of developing a wine on each label of the wine will be a feature artist. So if someone comes into the lounge and they can't afford the artwork, they can afford a bottle of wine. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I love being able to get out to the lake path really easily and just go for a quick jog. Or if I have friends come in from out of town and visit just to spend time, you know, take a walk by the lake or take my niece and nephew to the park by the lake. I mean, it's just, it's really an amazing part of this city that you don't see in very many other places.